if you noticed, is not our time. It's Iraqi time. I, it started that when I, every time he left for deployments, I would have a clock that was set for his time. So the girls would always know what clock where daddy would be at what time. You know what I mean? And I will always, from now on, keep it Iraqi time because we lost him there. <laughs> he was coming home for his leave during our 19th wedding anniversary, and it would have been her birthday, her 15th birthday. And uh, he didn't make it. They left July 22nd and died November 6th. I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. I remember. He usually decided that when, when to pick on mom was the best time when we're on a highway and she can't go anywhere. <laughs> she is stuck in the driver's seat. She can't walk away. She can't do nothing. The th first thing she can do is scoot over, put her arms across, and look like this out the window. <laughs> and we never needed a DVD player or anything. We just watched them. They were, they were so players. priceless together. <laughs> they were, I mean, they just loved each other. And it they, was just They gave us the greatest great. joy ever. It just is. And I mean, then of course he'd go, honey, give me your hand. Let's hold me. I love you. Don't touch me. <laughs> I love you. Don't touch me. <laughs> Strong priesthood. <laughs> <clears throat> like certain times, like mom would go to bed early or something. Actually, correction. Dad would want us in bed by like 10 and yeah. we had to get up like 6. That was his idea. Yeah. Or mom was laying down or something and like if he had time, he'd come down and he'd lay... He'd lay down with me before I went to bed and talk to me about like how my day was or how my week's been and what's going on and just talking to me and and like in the mornings we'd get up around the same time like I'd be getting up the same time he was leaving yeah. so I'd hear his heavy boots going through hey dad <laughs> you up yeah kind of and just talking before we left and even when he was in Iraq he'd know what time I got up roughly and he'd get up and he'd be in line. Hey, Daddy, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? I'm okay, school. <laughs> but it was funny, um, when I was younger, I used, it, was, it went Daddy, Dad, for a while when I was a baby. Then Daddy again, and then for around middle school, middle school elementary school, so I called him Dad. And then like the last year, so I called him Daddy again. And I remember sending him an email. It just said, Hey, Dad. Yeah, this is gonna happen, this has happened, this has happened. Love ya, Brie. Well, I got back, love, daddy. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I will stick with daddy. <laughs> you like that? Okay, we'll keep it. <laughs> it was like October, he was away for in Texas for nine yeah, months. And he came home like once every, once every month for a weekend to spend time with us. Just him. Just him. The whole battalion of guys, 400 some odd guys. He He's the home. only husband that came home once a month to be with his family. And um, I remember I walked into the house with Ryan. And I go, something's something's gonna happen. I don't know what, just something's uh, something's up. And Mom's just sitting there smiling on the couch, and I'm like, what is she up to? And I look on the couch, and I remember screaming, Daddy! Dropping everything and like jumping on it. <coughs> and the thing is, I n I've never, I don't. I'm not surprised. I don't. She doesn't show I don't reactions. react. No. Well, I don't. We expected her to do that. And oh, Megan uh, walked uh, in and goes, "Oh, hi, Dad." Yeah, she did what Megan or Bree would have done, and she goes, "Something's not right here." But uh, hey, Bex. <laughs> yeah. So he usually came in my room, and he kissed me on the cheek and read um, how much I love you. You know. Uh, I'm glad I'm your dad. Just let me say why I'm glad And then um, how how much I love you? No. Yeah, yeah. With a rabbit. With, With a rabbit. rabbit. Yeah. I love you to the moon and back. Mm -hmm. He used to sing those to me. But how to describe my dad, pick him out of a crowd. Um, he's just very, like, you could hear him a mile away. I mean, he always said that we were the mouse. But I'm telling you, you get him talking, no way. It was my eighth grade social. He gave the best hugs I've ever been given in my life. Big bear hugs. And I remember, like, there's times... Or, like, he'd sit, right mom's sitting, yes, laying across the thing, and he'd go, come here. Why? Come here. And he'd, like, pull you down and hug you. Yeah. He, well, he's not <laughs> really tall. <laughs> no. But you can notice him. Oh, yeah. He had huge and presence. Huge. His voice. God, I miss his voice.